Hello guys, what's going on dear? Today we are going to see how to create a transparent nav bar with the scroll effect on hovering on each item and uh, it will be very basic tutorial and of course very easy <coughs> so let's start and jump to the our text editor I am using here the Visio Studio Code which is a great text editor you can use of course anyone you like and uh, here is my files here I have an index.html I have a logo and I have my my image here for background so let's start coding first I'm going to use a template I'm going to give it as a title for the page because you got which is my brand of course I guess you already know who I am I am Airbnb Hosh from Crazy Cars. Our page will contain some elements here. Here is our navbar. Here is a first section, second section, and the third section here. Navbar, first section, second section, and the third section. So let's do our markup. First thing, I'm going to create a div with the class navbar navbar which will contain a brand and inside this div our logo logo dot gpg goes here self close tag after our navigation bar we will have a section here a section of class sec a the first section i am going to use or to give inside this section a headline of each one welcome to inside the spam glitchy card so that i can style this Brand alone. The second section, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, going to give it a class of A, of a B. Oh, sorry, guys. And inside this class, some text, some dummy text. Who is Airbios? I'm asking a question here. And of course, some loading info. I'm going to turn the wrap text on on toggle wrap text for the third section I'm going to give it a class of sec C and the same thing some the text but I'm gonna change the H2 well he's from critic art who is Elbiosh I'm going to answer this question Elbiosh is from critic art all right guys here we are done with our HTML file let's jump to our CSS first thing I'm going to use some rules here I'm going to select all the tags, everything in my in my DOM. After studio elements, of course, I'm going to select also before each element. Margin zero, pattern zero. And the most important rule is box size. Border box as a file. For the body, <coughs> sorry guys, 
I am going to specify the font family to use Barrio font and it doesn't exist sans serif for the font size 16 pixel which is the, the default value of our and uh, let's open this file in our browser to see changes as you see here nothing anything is styled yet okay we will style it together step by step Barrio sans serif everything here okay and let's jump to our to our uh, navbar okay, class here navbar a background color RGBA which will make it transparent zero zero and zero point five get away this explore here and of course we are forget to link to our to our uh, to our CSS file here that's it let's see what we have here all right we can see that the font is changed and also the background of uh, the navbar is changed also which is cool and let's give it a mine height of 70 pixel and the padding left and the right of 10% that's it great so our logo is very big here let's decrease the width of our brand of our logo image select brand class and image take a width of 10% all right cool I have already tested this value so that I give it directly this value here of course for yours for your logo you can adjust your width as it should will be don't just copy this value but adjust in your situation uh, what else so okay let's give it also some margin top or some padding top of uh, 70.5 pixel that's it which is now centered vertically great our logo is now okay we need a navigation here we need our navigation elements here our actual actual our uh, actually our navbar yes our navbar yol uh, li inside li we have an href of home here. let's duplicate this line another page contact for example another one pricing of course for example and another one of about that's it just for elements so as you see here there are in their in their initial state so we, can, we are not styling yet this element here let's style our our love here so that we can make the logo in the left side and the navigation in the right side we are going to use the float property here float left and for the nav elements we are floating we are going to float them to the right nice it's okay great so do you skip any problem of this floating i am going to use the strike here 
और आफ्टर कॉन्चेंट एम पी एंड फॉर डिस्प्ले ब्लॉक एंड फॉर क्लियर बोर्ड्स आइस एंड लेट्स स्टाइल आवर UL elements here, LI here. For the UL, I'm going to use some properties. Love UL for the margin zero and padding of zero. And let's style our LI elements. I'm going to use the display L display L line block property to make it to make them in one line. Display in line block. That's it. Great. Let's get away of that the list style none and margin left of let's do and power one pound five m just test your values there why not two m okay i'm going to adjust and test the values until we are uh, satisfied with the result in the end and what i what else um, i need to style the a elements i'm going to display them also in line block and the wide of i'm going to use the mean wide of 70 pixel and the line height of 70 pixel because i have the height of the nav bar of 70 pixel so that I can center them vertically. Agreed. So as you can see here, they are centered vertically, and also there is some margin between each element here. Let's get away of that underlying text decoration of none, and the color of blue of uh, white. And the font size of 1M. Let's test 1M. Okay. 1.1. 1. 1. Why not? Okay, that are actually good. I like them like that. Let's just give them some background just to, so that I can see them. Okay, I need some. To be the center gym, this element, not top size, text align center. That's it. Great. Actually, it looks good. So let's get a Y of this background. Here. What I need is now this animation here. So to use or to create this animation, I need the pseudo classes on that element, on A elements. So before and uh, this or content, so that I can style this pseudo element, display as a block or just not a block, but I need a position of absolute. So. I'm going to give it a position of relative so that I can control the top and left here top zero from top and left zero from the left and the background of white I cannot see it not yet I'm going to give it a weight of 100 and the height of 100 all right now i can see it i want this element to be shown 
or to appear just in when I hover on each element so I am going to use the transform property and scale of y zero to disappear to hide this element and of course very important transform origin of top here we are going to see why using top here or this property transform origin so when i hover on this element i want the animation to be appealed hover i want this one here not to be height but to be appeared until their original white and height all right it doesn't show because i am going i'm not referencing to the element to be shown on the hover great now that i can see it appears i need to make some transition transition which property I want to make a transition on? On this one. I need this one here. Transform here. Ease in out. Let's make it 300 milliseconds. Alright. Great. So, I'm going to use here bottle. To appear from top and disappear from bot to bottom. In, in bottom. In bottom or it's the control i want the the control the reverse of this the bottom to appear from the top here and disappear in the bottom grease that's what i want but i can't see actually i can't see my my text my home page here because i need to use the z index property of negative on the hover I want this element on the hover to, to change the color of the text to why not this color here not this one this black one dark one wait the color is shown and also I want some transition I will fix the problem of okay they give me this prefixes here actually because I am go I'm not going to use this this code of this file in the production website I don't need this but it's okay I'm going to use them and why not give this transition on the color and the duration of 300 milliseconds and the timing function function of ease in out and delay I don't need it so delete it grey the color is shown as it should but I can see that in this z index there is some problem z index of minus one z index minus one z index of hundred alright great that's it animation is working fine so our love bar is complete here our animation is in the final stage it looks good it looks nice now let's style the rest of our page let's do that very very quickly let's grab or select our sections and give them a height of 100 vh which is the height of my of my well, not the class of section but the tag of section at the height of uh, my screen all right each section is now in 100 vh as a height and let's select the section of sick a which is the first one let's give it a background image 
of my PG here, dot PNG. And some background repeat of no repeat, some background size of cover to cover my page or my page, and some background position of center as always. Great, let's see what we have here. Our image is that it doesn't show why there is no image. Our section is defined, so what's the problem? Our image it doesn't show, I don't know why. This just give it some background color to test if we are referencing to the correct image. So that we are not ref Oh! What this mistake that I made? Oh no. That's it. I want this class in this section, not inside this section an element with the class of this class. Okay, as you see our image is now shown, but our navbar is not transparent because of what? We need to make our navbar to give it a position of fixed and the wide of 100% and the top of zero and the left of zero and the right also of zero that's it great now our navbar is fixed on the top and we have this transparent elements here as you can see here there is my headline here i wanted to make it here to be on the center of my section on the middle of my page on the middle of my screen so let's make this right now select our which we have here our each one here select this each one text align of center yes but to do this quickly I'm going to use the display as a flex as a justify content center and align agents of center. All right, my title now is perfectly centered on the mild of my page. Let's style it a little bit to give it a color of white. And what is a font size? Let's increase my font size here it's one of about 2.5 m actually just 2 m and the letter spacing of what about two pixels actually good and some opacity i want some opacity about 80 just like that it looks great but i want to style this critic card here alone so i'm going to select it because i make it inside the spam so i select just a spam element here and add some and increase this font size by 2.5 m and an opacity of one all right opacity doesn't work because i decrease the opacity in each case in, uh, in any case here as you see here, I see that it's, it's huge. Let's decrease it and give this one 1.5. Great, that looks good. That's now it looks good. Let's jump to the section one here very quickly. The same thing as C and B. I'm going to, to use the same thing to, to center the elements on the center but as you see here it doesn't center because we need to wrap all these elements inside one one element so that i can in one element so that i can center this element here because if i don't do that there is two elements but if, if i do that just one element inside its section here this and here also let's see what we have great it looks good now i need i need to use the text align sensor 
now that it's centered here I need to give it some padding for each section padding of all about 100 pixels so let always select them both and select the H2 hedging here of the two sections in the same time a font size of 1.5 M a color of 444 or what about the same color as my nav element oh, great looks good and some margin bottom of 1m or 1.4m not too high Point 8m here great looks good I select our paragraphs and also style gene along a font size of 1.14.9 and the line height about 9 and it's too small let's give it one and what about 1.3 too high or about 1.1 okay great looks good so the same color but i need to change the opacity of bound line so that it's a little bit gray the last thing i'm going to do is to give this section a background so let's select this selection this section alone and give it a background color of background color of 2 a d 8 f 2 so a color that I was tested earlier you can use your color and adjust in your situation of course alright guys this is our love bar this is our page I hope you like it and I hope also you learned something from it and from all the rules that we are using together in this tutorial here is our final page it looks very similar to that one that I make earlier and also this one that I made also it's very similar to it the same principle the same technique the same properties and the same logic okay guys thanks for watching again thanks very very much for watching this video and I like to thank you very much for watching and supporting me and liking and also comment if you have any problem or any question you want to ask to me great so this is the end thanks for watching and see you later goodbye